ओम शांति वेलकम टू फिफ्टींथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट गॉडी ब्लेसिंग अ वेरी वेरी हैप्पी इंडिपेंडेंस डे टू यू एंड द रियल इंडिपेंडेंस इज वेन वी आर एबल टू एक्सप्रेस आर सर्स विदाउट एनी ग्रीड विदाउट जेलसी विदाउट हेटरेड विदाउट एंगर विदाउट लास्ट विद इन एस एंड वेन नेवर वी एक्सप्रेस आर सर्स विदाउट दीज वायरस इन अ माइंड वी आर एक्चुअली इंडिपेंडेंट एंड दैट्स वॉट गॉड वॉन्ट्स द कम्प्लीट world to become and especially bharat this country all the souls are suffering from these viruses and god wants all the souls to be free from them so that's why god says may you be constantly tireless and free from bondage by performing every act while considering it to be doing service according to the father's directions so look after your family while considering that to be doing service instead of thinking of it as oh i have to do so much for this person or this relative of mine or this brother of mine or husband of mine or wife of mine is so lazy i have to do everything don't think like that god says think of it as a service do it don't think that why do i have to do everything then it won't be something heavy for you i'm not considering it to be some bondage The Father has given you directions to settle your karmic accounts with yoga. That means God says, when you think that you have to do so much for them, that means you are lacking happiness. You are lacking joy. You are lacking enthusiasm. You are lacking peace of mind. You are lacking love in your life. So connect with me. Have yoga with me, and take it from me. Don't expect it from them. You just take it from me. Be happy. Be joyous, and keep on doing. Keep on doing. Keep on doing. How much do I have to do for them? Why have I taken birth in this family? Why this husband? Why this wife? Don't question it because if you question too much, then it's going to become a another virus for you, a virus of dissatisfaction. God then says, the Father has given you directions to settle your karmic accounts with yoga. You know that that is a bondage, but by repeatedly saying it or thinking about it, it becomes even stronger. It becomes even a further burden. Why am I in this life? Why this wife? Why this husband? Why are they so lazy? Why don't they work? Why don't they pick up things? Why don't they put things properly? And that becomes why, why, why a big burden. Then in the final moments, if you only remember that bondage because you are thinking about them all the time, complaining about them, so that becomes a habit. So in the end, it's a habit of remembering them, and not God the Father and Creator, and not the area of liberation or the world of liberation. If you only remember that bondage, you will have to go into the jail of a womb. That means, if you remember your family members, worldly members, and you take another birth, this is a fact, a law of karma. Therefore, never distress by yourself or become trapped or compelled by anything. Never be distressed by yourself. Never be like, oh, for how long do I have to do this, or why are they like this? No, just do it as a service. Focus on yourself. Focus on God. That's it. Continue, continue to perform every act as a game, and you will remain tireless and become free from bondage. Oh, this is a game. He is trying to put hurdles in front of me. Let me enjoy this. Let me cross this. Or she is trying to test me by not doing her daily chores. Okay, fine. Let me enjoy this. Let me learn something new. Let me learn how to cook something. Let me learn how to clean something. Let me take it as a game instead of taking it as a burden. and that's what god wants us to do but what do we do we do the opposite and that's why we feel burden so god says come and learn this art in brahma kumaris and you'll become lighter learn the art of yoga with me and you'll become lighter on a daily basis om shanti mate